welcome today to another episode of the automotive feature with me Karim Latouche and today I have a special guest who is Duncan Stewart and Duncan Stewart is co-CEO Managing Director Co-Managing <laughs> co Director of Stewart Auto Sales right um, today we are in the special Mercedes-Benz GTR and this is the race version right is it our first in Jamaica Absolutely, it's the first in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean? Yeah. Alright, so um, we want to see what it's like, what it feels like and a car like this, you can't just write about it, you have to drive it and feel it, so we're going to take it out on the road. So this is um, 577 brake horsepower, which is 585 PS. Okay. Um, what you felt just now is that the car has four wheel steering, mm -hmm. which is one of the features of the R version. Mm -hmm. And so when you accelerate um, on a 90 degree turn, you feel the back of the car sway. Oh, which okay. Is part yeah, I felt of, the swing out. Part of the fun of driving it. Mm. Everything about this vehicle is basically centered towards performance. So what on the ex on the exterior is really just performance based? Because I mean, I noticed the wingtip at the back. Right, and I'm certain that's for G4. So, what are some of the performance um, designs that they use? So, um, so first of all, we have intelligent weight distribution. So, the car has lightweight parts on the exterior. For example, the wings are carbon reinforced mm -hmm. plastic. Um, the big rear wing you're speaking about on the back is mm -hmm. to generate downforce at high speed. Mm -hmm. The car can produce almost its weight in downforce at, okay. um, at high speeds. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, on the exterior we have an uh, active um, under tray, mm -hmm. which is speed sensitive, so it will adjust the height of the under tray to create downforce. Mm -hmm. um, also on the exterior you'll see you know, um, performance wheels, which right. are lightweight but strong, and you'll see some massive... How many inches? Um, the wheels are 20 inch wheels. Mm -hmm and the tires are massive so we have 365 um, 30 20 on the back oh so 365 and that's the width yeah right and on, okay mm -hmm. on the front we have 315s and on average vehicles you have like the width is 175 right yeah. or probably 190 right. for average car right and this is 365 exactly so these are very broad tires so they're supposed to there should be no body roll on a vehicle like this no, the suspension is tuned um, basically to allow you to drive the car exceptionally sported. Okay. So you'll find that the car is very flat around corners even at high speeds. Okay then. Duncan, how long have you been driving professionally like, I mean, a racing enthusiast? Um, gosh, so long ago I can't remember. Mm, what was I would your... say, I think I would have started in around 85. 85? Or 84. What were you driving then? Then I was driving a Suzuki Forza. Ah, I don't even know what model is that. What model is that? What, what does that look like? So that would have been the precursor to a Swift. Okay then. And mm -hmm. it would have been a 1.3 litre um, engine. Was that Pepe engine? It was a wonderful car to drive, but it only had 80 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> so we're jumping from 80 horsepower in that Suzuki to what 570 horsepower now in this Mercedes. Exactly. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> about the interior now so the interior is black right suede leather and i'd, I'd call this yellow stitching mm -hmm. i know that they might have a special term for it what were some of the 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 inspiration behind the interior design so this particular car was ordered with the track option so mm -hmm. the seats that you're sitting in are bucket seats yeah which also which means that you can't adjust the back right. you have to sit in the seat as is right but mm -hmm. i find them just perfect okay then. um the, the car has a roll cage in it which is mm -hmm. part of the, the track pack yeah which is right here turn off the track to control We're on Palisades Road now, which is a peninsula basically, and it's a nice stretch. Where is the most fun place you have ever driven this vehicle? So, this 
um, you know, getting maximum performance out of this car is about corners, mm -hmm. right? So I love driving on the um, North South Highway. Okay. I love driving on the um, the Palisades Road between the airport and Port Royal mm -hmm. because their corners, you know, the roads always change in direction. Right. So. But really the best place to drive this car is on the track mm -hmm. because that's the only place you can safely get all the performance out of the car. So we're talking about the suspension now. So it's in sports mode now, which makes it more comfortable but not necessarily as comfortable as a regular sedan, right? So not quite. We're in comfort mode now. And in comfort mode, um, we're the most comfortable this car can be, but which is a lot more um, stiff than a standard car. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's not uncomfortable to drive, so we can drive around in traffic and so on. It's, mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't feel bad. If we want to, you know, dial up um, its responsiveness, we can go to the Sport Plus mode, okay. right? Um, which is just by the knob. So yes. I turn it to Sport Plus. Mode, and I hear the sound. And you see up here that the suspension is in Sport Plus, the right. engine and so on, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. So essentially, we can choose you know, how swift we want it, mm -hmm. and we can adjust it as well. So we can make our individual um, control of what parameters we want.